Thank you very much. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to this quick tech demo. We've got 15 minutes, so I'm going to be really, really cram as much in as I can. And it's demo time, so this really suits the, our product. I don't know if anybody is aware of what Ping is or does, uh, but in a nutshell, we make games for crowds. So luckily, we've got a bit of a crowd here today. Um, everything we do is just bringing fun to an event. So it could be used at exhibitions like this, internal meetings, um, sporting events, stadiums, etc. Um, but as we say, it's a tech demo, so I'm actually going to show you, it's always better that people actually take part and actually use our products uh, to be able to uh, get an understanding of how they actually work. So I hope everybody's got the phones with them. No one goes anywhere without the phones these days, do they? Uh, and I'll kind of show how our games work. So the key things, from our side is everything runs in a web browser. So there's no special software required to run any of the games that we've got. The players don't need to do anything. They just get out the phones and uh, scan the QR code and they're into the game. So I'm just gonna, we're just on a holding, holding screen at the moment here. And I'll just allow players to join, go back to the screen. And if anybody wants to uh, scan the QR code, or if they want to go old fashioned, they can just open up the browser and type in www.ping with two eyes dot live 6091. So we can see straight away, we've got Emma, Rita, straight in, straight in, pole position in this game. Uh, this is one of the games that we developed. This was used at Silverstone this year. Uh, we've had it used at various other, other events. So we've got Emily, uh, Emma, Rita, Adam, and Hannah, anybody else going to join? Looking to waiting for a couple. Andy's joined. Don't worry, we're going to run this a couple of times. Everyone will get a go. So if you don't get, don't get a chance to join at this point, we've got Henry. Cliff's the last one in. OK, guys at the back, anyone on the desk, if they want to join in as well, you can do. Right, there we go. Right, Anton, I don't think we can get a full row here, but basically this, this game takes up to 30 players. So what happens when we get 15 in a row, we get a second line on the grid. So always a bit of an exciting moment. Right, I'm gonna jump between the two screens really quickly here. Uh, so you can, I don't mind showing you the behind the scenes stuff. Obviously you wouldn't normally see that um, at the events, but we can see here we've got 11 players connected and I can start the game. So let's go back, basically just avoid the obstacles. Last person standing is going to be the window. We've already got a couple of aggressive drivers straight away, I could see there. Andy was barging a few people out of the way. Anton's out early. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, big, big obstacle in the middle, starting to thin the crowd down a little bit. Henry's going for the weaving option. Adam's gone for big weaving option there. Uh, Cliff's just been taken out there. We're whittling the crowd down. Oh, it's between Henry and Andy. Henry and Andy, okay, who's gonna get, who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? Henry's the, both going for a bit of weaving action there. As we get to the top, Andy's getting very aggressive. He's trying to push Henry out of the way there. Almost did it, almost came to fruition. Okay, this is actually, oh, <laughs> Henry wins, Henry wins. <laughs> And that's what we do. It's nice, short, simple games. Actually, a thousand meters is really good. Actually, that's uh, achieved there. Uh, we're just going to jump back in. Let's let's treat that as a little uh, practice lap, if you want. So uh, let's see if we can get everyone back into the game. And you can see from a tech point of view, it's really simple. Players on the handsets just get to join in again. So anyone that wasn't playing on the last one, if they want to jump in. Okay, we've got Emily, Craig, Cliff, Anson, Sag, Adam, Hannah, Henry, Rita, and Emma. Okay, I think we're gonna go with everybody there. Start the game, go back in. And they're away, and they're away. Is, Ant is Andy gonna be a little bit more forgiving this time? Okay, we're weaving as a pack, which is quite a good technique. But those obstacles just come in randomly. Coming. Oh, Emily's been taken out. Sag's been taken out. Oh, we've got Henry, Andy and Henry again. Coming down to the last ones. Hannah. 
Hannah's going strong there. Oh, well avoided the obstacle in the middle. Hannah's hanging in there, going for the straight option at this point. Okay. Anson driving very sedately. Cliff, a bit of weaving. This is going between four plates. Oh, very close. <laughs> Hannah's getting very aggressive with Anson there. It's pushing him out of the way. <laughs> Again, we've gone past a thousand. Oh, no. Deserved. Hannah, where's Hannah? Hannah, well done, well done. Okay, do you want one more game of that, or do you want to play another game? Another game, one more go, one more go? Yeah, one more go, and then we'll play the other game. Oops. So you can see we've got things like profanity filters that are built in. Um, we do all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, but the whole key to this is literally just having everybody Get into the game. We've got a few more people joining from the side here. Let's see if we can get, get that extra second line appearing. There's always a bit of an extra exciting moment when the second line appears. Okay, so we've got the same players Emma, Hannah, Cliff, Adam, Henry, Sag, Anton, Andy, Emily Ryan, and DM. DM's a new one. DM's a new one. Analog and Homer, LT1, there we go, right, we've gone. Second line, have we got anybody else joining? Anybody else joining? It's going to get even more messy this time. Just imagine it's like Mad Max. Take no prisoners. Of course, it's just like Formula One. Everyone goes out on the first bend anyway. It's just like, that's it, it's all bunching. Oh, Pete went for, Pete went for a bit of weaving at the end. <laughs> Okay, we're losing a couple of people early. Is Hannah there? Hannah's still in there. Hannah's still in there. Anton's taking... <laughs> oh, we've lost Rita and Emma on that obstacle. Homer's gone for the win. LT1's gone. Henry's out. Hannah, Cliff and Adam. Hannah, between Hannah, Cliff and Adam. Okay, they're all going for the weaving options. Hannah, Hannah's... You've got a plan there, haven't you, Hannah? Same as last time. She started pushing again, pushing Cliff. Again, go past a thousand. Bit of weaving going on. Okay, oh no! <laughs> Two time champion, <laughs> Hannah. Right, okay, we've got a range of games. Obviously, in such a short amount of time, I can only show you a couple. Uh, something a little bit different is our football tennis game. So, anyone can remember Pong? from the uh, 70s. Uh, this is very similar to that. Again, scan that on your QR code, or you, if you're in the game, you can change the game button at the bottom on your phone. Oops. Right, okay, so we've got auto assign, but you can let people join a team if you want, so. Okay, on the Lions, we've got Cliff, Andy. Keeps moving, I can't read them. <laughs> Lionesses, Anton, Rita, Hannah, and Henry. Any more people to join? Any more people? The bats get smaller. So this game, we can get up to 100 people playing it, and the bats just get tiny and tinier. So literally, you're, you're messing around with pixels. Right, okay, I think we've probably got everyone in to start the demo. We've only got five minutes left, so... Here we go. It's best out of three. So, literally, you've just got to hit the ball back. It starts off nice and easy. You can get a nice, just get, get used to how it works. Okay, the Lions there, all bunching. Cliff's doing his own thing up, up at the top, trying to cover the top. Oh, nice action there by Emily. You can get spin on it as well. Do a little bit of spin. Oh, Anton, well done. Anton scored that goal then. Lioness is scored. As we said, first to three. Oh, nice and easy. The Lions <laughs> come back. Okay, well saved by Andy. Henry got that one. And Cliff just about saved that. Anton, Ryan and Scott. Hannah, it's going to speed up at this point. Come on, get that spin on it. Get on the spin on it. Makes it more interesting. Ooh. Okay, we've got one more point to get, match point for the Lions, but can the Lionesses pull it back at this point? 
There you go. Nice bit of spin by Risa. This is it. Match point. Two apiece. So, who's going to get... I love the concentration in the room. Everyone's, everyone's fixated on the screen. Oh! I'd say quite deservedly so. The Lionesses have beaten the Lions today. So, top players. Well done. Anton has hit the, hit the ball the most there. So, we can have individual players as well as team players. Uh, and... Yeah, in the short space of time we've got, that gives you a little taste of the type of different games that we've got. So with some are, some are individuals, some are teams, um, and I'll just play this while I'm talking. We do have some stadium-sized games, so we've got penalty shootout for 55,000 people that's been used at Manchester City and Ajax. Um, and literally, as the video comes around here, you'll see that in a minute. And we don't like to average things out. So uh, with 55,000 people, every shot that gets taken at the screen gets represented by a ball getting fired at the poor goalie. So this is just giving you a little taste of the games that we've got. And this is what it's all about. It's for these people. And here we go. Boom. <laughs> so we like to do something a little bit different at Ping. Um, add a bit of wow. And uh, yeah, it's all about the fun. Hope you've had fun in our little tech demo. Any questions? Lovely, thank you very much. Uh, were there any questions at all? Yeah. Um, so obviously you've got a range of things in there. Do you, can you make them for companies if companies like we want a game? Oh, sorry, should I hold it closer? Can you make them for companies, like design them if companies want, okay, cool. Okay, thanks. Perfect, thank you very much. That question for anyone who didn't hear it was about bespoke questions, so. Sorry, I don't know if this is the exact same, but um, can you personalize them so it can be more like quiz and interactive down to the session that they're in? Yeah. Yes, all the games you see, the off the shelf ones, we can just do straight out of the box, replace the logo. Uh, we can reskin them so you can have some, th the, the buggy race game which has been done with Tron light cycles and quad bikes and things like that uh, and then we can just make bespoke complete games for clients as well so we do we can do the whole range uh, we're actually on the most hidden stand which is stand B11 if you want to come along and play the games again or ask us any questions happy to answer any uh, anything else B11 it's just up the, it's literally up this one here on the left look for me I'll be there <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. And thank you to Jay for joining us for the last of our four tech demos this afternoon. And definitely the most fun. Thank you.